Hello, future IGCSE champions, welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into the last exercise of the IGCSE ESL listening test, exercise 5. This exercise involves an interview between two speakers, followed by eight multiple choice questions. I'm your host Alice and I'm here to provide you with the skills you need to be successful in this part of the listening test. Before we get started, hit the subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you never miss out on our valuable tips and tricks. Now, let's jump right in. The key to conquering all listening exercises, including exercise 5, is preparation. The first step is to read through the questions carefully. Underline those crucial keywords that guide you during the listening. Let's look at the first two questions and the introduction explaining what you will listen to. Exercise 5. You will hear an interview with a teacher called Jane Clark about an organisation called Teen Code. For each question, choose the correct answer, A, B or C, and put a tick in the appropriate box. You will hear the interview twice. Now look at questions 33 to 40. If we look at questions 33 and 34, we should read the questions and look at the options that help you stay one step ahead during the listening. For question 33, we are listening to Teen Code's main aim, and for question 34, we are listening to what surprised Jane about the Teen Code she attended. As the recording begins, it's crucial to listen actively. You should pay attention to the key details the person being interviewed provides. Remember, you're not just hearing words but deciphering the main details mentioned in the interview. You should stay calm and relaxed throughout the listening exercise. If you miss any details, don't panic. Move on to the next question and return later when you listen to the interview a second time. Remember that a clear mind enhances your ability to absorb information. As you listen, carefully consider each multiple choice option. Eliminate the ones you're sure are incorrect. This strategic approach improves your chances of choosing the correct answer, even if uncertain. So let's listen to part of the interview that provides the information to answer question 33. Teacher Jane Clark is with me in the studio. Jane, you recently got involved with an organization called Teen Code. Tell us about it. I heard about Teen Code a couple of years ago, but in fact, it was set up in 2018. They run regular events, some of which are specifically for science teachers, but most are for students, often at least half of them are girls, from schools in the area. The idea is to give young people a better understanding of how science is part of everything we do. So, what option did you choose? Jane mentions that Teen Code runs specific events for science teachers and that at least half of the students are girls, but the main aim is not to support teachers or encourage girls to take up science. The main aim is to show how science is part of everything we do, in other words, relevant to real life. So the answer is B, and you put a tick in the box. Let's have a go at question 34. And I understand you recently took a group from your school to an event run by Teen Code. That's right. I took my Year 10 class, so they're about 14 years old. I was expecting it to be rather noisy because there were almost 300 students there in total, but in fact it was the opposite. There was a bit of chaos when everyone was trying to get from one place to another, but overall it was a fantastic day. In the interview, Jane wasn't surprised by the number of students even though there were almost 300, or how well organised it was, as she mentioned, it was a bit chaotic. She was surprised because she expected it to be noisy, but it wasn't. Therefore, A is the correct answer, as the option states, how quiet the students were. Remember to put a tick in the box. So, let's have a recap on the strategies to succeed in exercise 5. You should read through the questions carefully and underline any keywords. You should listen actively and make sure you pay attention to the key details the speaker provides. You should stay calm and relaxed throughout the listening exercise, as you will hear the interview twice. Finally, eliminate the ones you're sure are incorrect, as this strategic approach improves your chances of choosing the correct one. Remember that regular exposure to listening exercises and tuning into different accents will significantly enhance your skills so click the links below this video to access resources for more chances to practice. And there you have it, 
our guide to mastering IGCSE ESL listening exercise 5. If you found these tips helpful, give this video a thumbs up and share it with your fellow IGCSE warriors. Don't forget to comment below with your thoughts or questions. Until next time, happy studying!